Well, welcome to another edition of Gone Again. We're making a big change to the cargo trailer today and it has to do with staying warm, so stick around. For some period of time now, I've had a single tank mounted right here dead center on the trailer so that I had room for my battery also. I didn't think I could put double tanks on here and that's what I'm going to try to do today. I don't know if I can put double tanks on. The problem is I don't know if I got enough room for this tongue jack mounted on the side here and I can't mount one in the middle because of this uh, heavy frame right that runs down the center and I'm not going to drill through here or interrupt the integrity, integrity of this in any way. So I need to see if I can fit a double tank on here and we're going to have to do something about that battery. So why am I going to a double tank instead of a single? Well the single tank holds plenty of propane. It, when we're on the road it lasts us a month but the thing is that you never know when you're going to run out. And when that temperature is going down, it's going to be like 20 degrees at night. And you're thinking, gee, I hope I got enough to light it in the morning. Now, of course, you can uh, pour hot water on it and feel down the side. And you can uh, put one of those uh, gauges on. They, they pretty much only tell you when the thing's about to go empty. And the best way is to remove the tank and weigh it. And I do have one of those scales. But that's kind of a pain in the neck. Oh, in the evening time, I think I'll go out and remove the tank and weigh it just to make sure I got enough for the morning. I get tired of doing that, so I'm putting on two tanks so I can run, run one completely out and then hook up the other one. So that's, that's, what, that's what this job is all about. The other thing is when you take a partially full tank in, maybe you've only got a couple gallons out and you ask them to um, top it off, they don't really like that, I've discovered, so... Yeah, we're going to try to put on two tanks. One thing you can do if you're uh, only running a single bottle and that's all you can run and you're afraid of running out of propane, you can get an adapter that goes on your regulator that makes it possible to screw in a one pound cylinder. So if you run out of propane, you can at least use one of these to get you by until you can get into town and get more propane. Those adapters run about $15. As for what we're going to do with this battery, I don't know. You know, I've got a Renogy controller inside, and this is all about charging the battery. So I guess I'm going to be putting another battery on, one inside the trailer, maybe an AGM or a gel battery. But if I decided not to put a battery in, then this would be uh, useless. And I went through all the trouble of installing it, and it's all connected to the solar panel. Because I could just run the whole trailer off of a, a Jackery or, a, or the Blue Eddy or something. It would run everything just fine. Lights, refrigeration, the works. But I installed this Renogy and I want to use it. So if I put a lead acid battery inside the trailer, I'm going to have to vent it because it puts out hydrogen and that's an explosive. So if you do that and put a lead acid battery on the inside, you got to vent it. If you put in an AGM or a gel battery, you don't because they don't give off gases. But they're like two or three times the price. So the jury's out yet on what I'm going to do with the battery, but first let's see if we can install the tanks. Well on the left there you can see the plywood from where the battery was sitting, and I'll have to take that off too. But just to give you an idea what I'm looking at here, I can't run this over all the way to that side because that tongue jack is in the way. So that tongue jack would have to get moved. One thing I could do is have both tanks sitting off to the side like that. I may do that. That's not my favorite though. Well, I've tried everything. <laughs> There's no way to have these bottles centered. With the necessity of having that tongue jack, there is just no way. So these bottles are going to have to be off center. Let me show you what I've been looking at. I've tried moving this tongue jack from back here to up here, different positions. It will not work. It will not work up here because it uh, comes up against this uh, straight piece of the tongue up here and you can't crank it. 
and it won't work further back because it won't swing up. I mean, it won't do it with the bottles centered. So what I've got here now is basically, <clears throat> I've got one bottle centered. If I take that cover off, you'll see that there's one bottle sitting perfectly in the center, and then the other bottle is off to the side. Now that big white cover, actually, um, it's made for 20 and 30 pound bottles. So I'm going to be cutting about eight inches off the bottom of that. It doesn't need to be that tall. So this is what it looks like with the cover off. Now let me show you what was going on on the side over here where that, where the battery was. I had bolted in a piece of quarter inch thick by um, uh, one inch angle iron there, and that's steel, and it's bolted up through here, and it's bolted up through here. That goes all the way through the floor, and that was to support one side of the battery. You can see that one side of the battery was supported on the steel, and the other side of the battery was supported by the frame of the trailer the way I had it. Well, now what's going to happen is this is going to support one side of that propane bottle mount. If you look on YouTube, you won't find anyone that's mounted two 20-pound bottles or 30-pound bottles, whatever, on the front of a V-nose trailer uh, because of that tongue jack being in the way. Now, I don't know, this is a six-foot wide. Maybe on a, a seven or eight-foot wide, it might be different. But I couldn't find anything to help me along here, so I'm on... Um, unexplored ground. <laughs> Anyways, I think this is what I'm going to do though. I already sent a picture to Linda. She's out of town today and I says, is it okay if I mount it off center? And she says, well, we'll get used to it. <laughs> well, this is the way it ended up. So I can tell you that this is the way you put two bottles on the front of a Vino 6x10. Now I got to do is figure out what to do with the battery and, and all those cables. <laughs> That's tomorrow's job. Here's a quick tip for you though. Um, these blow off and come undone and blow off in the wind and it's happened to me twice. So um, I went to using cable ties, or tie wraps or cable ties. Just um, There's already a hole here on the double. I just had to enlarge it a little bit and drill uh, two more holes and run those through. And that way, if it comes undone, the wind can't blow it away. It was actually Camco themselves that told me to do that a long time ago. Well, that's the way it turned out.